What's up people of the internet? I'm the big boat here with yet another video. In this video we will be testing the Intel Celeron M2840 which is a CPU based on the Silvermont architecture and part of the Patreon family of power efficient processors. It has two cores with no hyper threading of course and it has a burst frequency of up to 2.58 GHz. The Celeron N2840 has the Intel HD graphics page rail as the integrated graphics, which have 4 unified shaders and a burst frequency of up to 792 MHz in this Celeron's case. It's also based on the same Ivy Bridge architecture as the Intel HD 4000, weirdly enough, we're using the latest DirectX fluid available. We also have 4GB of RAM in single channel mode, as well as a 500GB hard drive for the operating system and a 1TB external one of which the game that we'll be playing today is installed. As for operating system, we're using Windows X Lite Redstone Revival version 2. You can find the full description of the specs in the video description down below. The game that we'll be benchmarking today is Crisis 2, in other words, Caneton Crisis version 2 Celeron Hurting Boogaloo. So let's get straight to the point now.
so apparently not only can the Intel Celeron M2814 Intel HD graphics for Atomic Bomb Time Z3700 to run Crisis 1 from 2007, but it can also run Crisis 2 from 2011, if you consider 13 FPS to be playable, which should be this in my opinion. I mean I finished GTA 5 at 12 FPS with far worse graphics for God's sake. Personally, that's how I'd play through the campaign of Crisis 2, as I want these games to look good anyway. But if you want as much FPS as possible, then follow me. We need a certain tool called Crisis 2 Configurator. I will provide the download link to it in the pinned comment just in case. It doesn't matter which download attachment you choose. After downloading the tool, you can extract it to whenever you want. Personally, I'm going to extract it to the config file directory of Crisis 2, which is located in users, your PC username, saved games, Crisis 2. As I said, you can extract it to whenever you want. I'm doing it for convenience because we will go back to this folder later. Anyway, now let's open the tool. If you get this message, don't worry, it doesn't affect anything. And here's how the config tool looks like. Before proceeding with the tricking, we need to navigate and choose the crisis2.exe file. It's the game's main executable and it's located in the bin32 folder of your crisis2 game directory. After doing the step, it's time for the main tricking. Navigate to the graphics and advanced graphics tabs of the tool and make sure to enable every single option, but don't change the values themselves, we need to keep them as they are. Then navigate to the sound tab and just enable the quality option. Finally click on save plus apply config and we're pretty much done. Oh look at that! Our FPS with the N2840 are now definitely higher than before. Even if the graphics now look more like Crisis 1 2007 slow graphics than Crisis 2, also there is that weird black screen bug which occurs during barrel and grenade explosions and also when your health is slow. Not too sure what's causing it so I don't know how to fix it, even though it's not a very bothersome error. Please comment down below if you know how to fix this rather strange bug. 
Oh well, but now I'm going to show you an extra trick for even more FPS. Remember the config file directory when I placed the configuration too? Well, in that folder there is a game.cfg file, which if you open with notepad, they are height and width values. If you change them to 480 and 640, respectively, in other words, if you lower the resolution to 640 by 480 using that method, you can gain a few extra FPS. So let's also test the game with that resolution.